This video is for demonstration purpose, therefore we are using a tripod for our base. In a construction site, the base will ideally be at a location with good sky visibility, permanently mounted on a building and of power supply. You can see, I have attached a 360 survey prism at the bottom of the Zephyr antenna for demonstration. Here, we have a modular unit, SPS 985, of which we need to connect the satellite antenna and radio cables to. This is the radio antenna, it comes with a long cable. And this is the power supply cable. Generally, it is necessary to place the satellite and radio antenna in a location with a clear line of sight, while the modular unit should be placed indoors. Now, the base is set up and turned on. We will turn on the Rover SPS 986 and make sure it's got a radio antenna attached. Start a new project in Trimble Access. Set up a survey template for RTK. All the usual settings for antenna heights and change broadcast format accordingly, in this instance we are using CMIX. Here we set both the base and a rover radio link to receiver internal. If you have trouble connecting your survey controller to the base and rover, check the Bluetooth setting under Connections. Next we need to make sure the base is broadcasting the corresponding radio format and frequency. Now we can start the base station. In this instance, we will use an uncorrected position for the base point by selecting here, and you can see the position changes when we press here as it's currently floating. For permanent base station, you are most likely to use a known survey point. Next, we start the rover by connecting it via Bluetooth. If you cannot see the base station index, you will need to check the base setting again, have a look at the frequency and broadcasting format setting. For demonstration purpose, we will disable the IMU. This is the setting mentioned earlier, just remember to match the corresponding radio configuration as the base. Now the RTK has started. Go do your job.